So as long as your will is set on obedience, your conscience is open to the Holy Spirit, and your mind is set on full obedience, what does the next verse say? Braden? Romans 8, 1. There is therefore now what? No condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. What does it mean to be in Christ Jesus? My will is set on obedience, my conscience is open to the Holy Spirit, and my mind is set on obedience. So even though I fail, for instance, I want to celebrate this Sabbath perfectly. I don't even want to think the wrong thought. I know you all feel the same way. But if somebody asks you tomorrow, did you celebrate yesterday perfectly? I think if you look in your heart, you'd have to honestly say, well, I don't know if I could say I kept a perfect Sabbath. We don't keep the Sabbath, the Sabbath keeps us. We celebrate what Jesus did by resting on the Sabbath because we rest in him. So here it is. I am accounted perfect in Christ when I will to obey, my conscience is clear, and my mind is set on obedience. Now, normally when I preach this sermon, I stop and have questions and answers, but I can't do that right now. <laughs> so I leave the verses with you, read them over again, and ask the Holy Spirit to give you special understanding if you still aren't quite sure. Hebrews 10.26 is the only caveat. I have to be sure there is nothing deliberate or willful against God in my life. Now, someone says, oh, I just don't know if I've got any sin in my life that God disapproves of or not. You know how to find out? Ask the Holy Spirit to convict you if there is a sin he will convict you of what needs to change. That's what the Holy Spirit does. He leads us and convicts us. If there's something delivered against God in our life, we can turn it around right now by just surrendering to what God wants. There no longer remains that sacrifice until we confess and forsake it. For if when we were enemies with God, we were reconciled by the death, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. What's more important, my salvation? Christ's life that covers me with his righteousness or Christ's death that took away my sin? Trick question. Answer is both. <laughs> 